This engine is not responding to a fire call. The crew, cross-trained EMTs, are rushing to a medical emergency. It's very concerning. Authorities say it's too risky to actually transport a patient in a fire truck, so the crews keep the patient stable at the scene until an ambulance becomes available. But it's become a huge issue for us. There are no ambulances to send because they're tied up at hospital emergency departments. Crews waiting 60, sometimes 90 minutes to transfer their patients. Most time we're standing in the hallway in the triage line just with the patient. Nine out of 10 times the patients we transport, they're taken out to the waiting room just like the general public. The ambos are backed up because the patients are backed up too. It was very scary, it was traumatic. Amanda Holland, pregnant with her first child, walked into Johns Hopkins Bayview complaining of severe stomach pain. I was in the waiting room for 33 hours. 33 hours to see a doctor. It was very scary, it was traumatic. It was really hard to go through and even think about still because it, I honestly felt like something really bad had to happen before they were gonna see me. Holland was triaged right away, meaning her vital signs were checked. She was assessed and put into a queue that constantly changes based on medical needs. I didn't leave initially because around the like eight hour mark, um, in the middle of the night, they told me there were only uh, four people ahead of me. Johns Hopkins Bayview responded to the complaint stating, while we do not always have an open bed available for our emergency department patients as quickly as we would like, we do have processes in place to ensure that each patient is quickly assessed and continuously reassessed by a healthcare clinician to address any urgent medical needs. But Holland says no one told her how long the wait would be, and there were no signs estimating a time for who's next. So just how backed up are the emergency departments in our area? To find out, the I-Team took a look at Maryland's County Hospital Alert Tracking System, also known as CHATS, to see how often hospitals went on yellow alert. The site is monitored by AMBO crews. Yellow alert means the emergency department temporarily requests that it receive absolutely no patients in need of urgent medical care because it's experiencing a temporary overwhelming overload and certain patients may not be managed safely. It happens a lot, and we discovered it's not unique to Hopkins Bayview. We looked at a 30-day period from this past summer, including the dates Amanda Holland spent in the ED. Of the 23 hospitals in our region, most were on yellow alert for hundreds of hours. Four EDs spent 500 hours on yellow alert. Seven were on yellow alert more than 600 hours. That's the equivalent to 25 plus days. It is a complicated problem um, and it's exacerbated currently by staffing shortages in, in hospitals across the United States. Dr. Ted Delbridge is the executive director of the Maryland Institute for Emergency Medical Services System. MIMS oversees the statewide EMS system. What we know is that many Maryland hospitals at any given moment in time are seeing more patients in their emergency department than they have space to see. It is a math problem that has yet to be solved. Hopkins tells us hospitals also need additional outpatient services, more behavioral health support, and follow-up care from community groups. Meanwhile, Amanda says the medical attention she finally received at Hopkins Bayview was excellent, but not worth the wait. The care I received inside the ER was wonderful. The nurses in the ER waiting room did their best to address the needs I did have with having literally no control of the beds inside of the ER. MEMS calls the current CHATS alert system subjective, limited, and obsolete, partially because it's based on human input. It's designing an automated system, they say, will more accurately determine patient loads and redirect EMS crews to unburdened hospitals. It's expected to be operational early next year. For the 11 News I team, I'm David Collins. David, thank you. The Maryland Hospital Association was unable to schedule an on-camera interview for this report, but in a statement says staffing shortages across the healthcare industry create bottlenecks throughout the system. For example, hospitals often cannot discharge medically stable patients because outpatient services for aftercare are unavailable. When medically cleared patients cannot leave, inpatient beds are not freed up to admit patients coming from the emergency department. They also say hospitals continue to refine and innovate care processes to increase capacity in emergency departments.